Good morning, sunshines. We spent the morning shooting in some little Calvin Klein goods with Tommy. Now, I need to charge this camera and then we're gonna go work out a little bit. It's gonna be great. And food prep. It's gonna be a great day. So today I'm food prepping one of my favorite meals, which you've probably already seen if you watched my really old videos. That's sloppy Joe's. I prefer to use like the Mrs. Dash Sloppy Joe seasoning, but I couldn't find any, so I have like a H-E-B Sloppy Joe seasoning mix. Just throw this, your beef for meat or meat substitute of choice, and tomato sauce in a bowl, and we're gonna smoosh it all up. All right, guys, on this week's episode of What Not To Do with Nikki B, <laughs> don't put the tomato sauce and the mix in before you ground the beef. So the flavor isn't awful. You know, it's just not a very good consistency. It's like chili-like. But we're gonna, we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna put on nachos or tortilla, or right now I'm gonna try it with rice and see what happens. food in prison or something or somewhere awful and they and they just slop the food out of your plate and it makes that noise. That's what I feel like right now. That's that's the visual I'm getting. Do you taste any good? I don't wanna waste food, you know what I'm saying? That's so dumb. Why did I do this? Okay. I mean it's edible. It tastes fine. It's just a weird texture. It tastes so good when the tomato sauce is like fresh on it. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. I was pretty confident when I was doing them, but. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Make it up as you go. Good morning, sunshines. Random story time. When I was first cutting, I was doing like my second show. I used to always sleep in for three or four more hours more than I needed to because I knew that I would have a better way in if I slept in more. Basically forcing myself to just fast longer, but I always slept in until like noon. And I just actually like that day. I was up at nine, I got up, I was doing things, and then suddenly, I don't know, I was asleep again. It was weird. So now I feel like I'm gonna come in here and weigh myself. Post vacation, sitting at a nice 109.6. Physique update. I still feel like I have like a little oblique, you know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just trying to make excuses to the fact that I haven't been very strict on my diet. This is it. I can't show the show anymore. There's my quad. <laughs> Max, what are you doing? There's no water coming out of there. Why are you crazy? And every time I turn it on, he runs away. But even if I want to turn it on for him, he just gonna run away. Every single time. Every single time you drive me crazy. Crazy. <laughs> okay, so straight up, if you're trying to pose, you normally have a good side. This side twists better. You flex. Normally not breathing. And then you twist. And then you want to like maybe arch your back a little bit if you can. I have too much back fat. I can't arch my back that much because that's where I store my fat, I feel like. And then you can also pose the other way. Same thing, flex. And then I twist. Maybe move this foot out. But this this side, I feel like, has more back fat. So I don't pose this way as much. And you keep this tight and pop this hip out. Can you hear me breathing? It's like a breathing exercise. It's like a yoga over here. <laughs> and those are my two poses. You're welcome. Educational seminar, a la Nikki. You gotta be productive now. This is what I get. He just sits and complains until he gets what he wants. And that is. He gets his fancy feast white meat, chicken, primavera. Yes, I feed my cat on the counter, don't judge me. <laughs> and then he likes these treats, so I put a couple of treats on top. Here you go, my love. Let's go from 110, how good does my hair look right now? Stronger too. Okay, we're here to be fit. 
about to hit um, my day one of my programming. So you've already seen this day uh, last video, I think. So we're going to start with squats and whatnot on the warm-up. Get my blood flowing on the Stairmaster. I do some mobility stuff. And then we get started. It's very hot. Very good. What's up, YouTube? So I thought I would do a quick quick-ish little um, box commentary over this workout footage. Today I was repeating the same squat day that y'all have already seen a couple videos ago. This was after New York, so I actually started back on week one and did the same weights from that week just to make sure because I kind of took a little bit of time off for that and Omar recommended it. I did successfully get my knee sleeves on by myself, which was really good. It actually wasn't that hard. I think it is very helpful to have leggings on already to kind of slide them up over and not to be like a sweaty skin person trying to pull up the knee sleeves. That was really hard last time. So mission success this time. I just kind of folded them in half and then pulled them up. And that was the most common comment, I think, on the last one that was giving me tips. That worked well. And then I started on the squats. It's four sets of eight reps for the first week. And I think the second week is like four sets of maybe six reps heavier. Um, I think, don't quote me on it yet, but I'll show you next week for sure. I felt really good about my squats. When I was with uh, Jazz and Omar, they gave me a bunch of tips on like how to improve my squat form. And first of all, like my ankle mobility really helps and the knee sleeves help a lot. And then I also plan on getting maybe squatting shoes and a belt. So we'll see how much that helps all in all. Part of it that I try to keep in mind this time was uh, you have to like squeeze your glutes at the top of the squat and yeah, at the before the squat and after the squat, which usually I would just do it after. Um, so I tried to remember to like squeeze before, go down, squeeze after. You get the maximum um, glute effect from that as well. So I was so sore the next day, like ridiculously. Another tip was just making sure that I was really sitting into it and that I was opening my hips as I went down. Like when you your legs, you like rotate them out more. So it's just like over your knees. It just feels better. It feels more smooth. And I feel like I don't get the, the butt wink at the bottom when I do that. So that was good. I feel, I feel really solid in these squats. And they, they felt challenging, but I feel like the weight was good for the amount of reps I was doing. And I'm very confident that I can like pop it up next week. So I'm excited. So did a bunch of squats. After the squats, we moved on. Where did we move on to? I want to say stiff leg deadlifts. Yep, yep. That's what it was. Stiff leg deadlifts, which I tried with, um, I believe, 95... 115 pounds. Um, I was doing six to eight reps and they were hella hard. <laughs> Damn, I thought I could really do this and it was it was difficult, very, very, very difficult. I did it and I think the most helpful thing during this workout was that I had some awesome jams going on. It was like some Skrillex or something, which I usually don't listen to, but for some reason for this workout, it made me kill it. I loved it, it was going really well. Um, hamstring glutes, hella sore the next day. Hella, hella sore. <laughs> so mission success on those. And then I believe we moved on to front squats. Um, after that, let me go forward over here. I'm trying to go along with the footage here on my laptop. My front squats felt a little weird today, which is weird because I'm usually the most comfortable with front squats because they keep me the most upright. So I feel like my form is always really solid. But for some reason, I think it was just because I was already really tired from the squats and the deadlifts. I, I just felt kind of kind of weak in my front squats. And my form didn't feel as tight. I felt like weird with my arms. I don't know why, it just felt wrong I don't know what I was doing but I mean they came out all right I did them it was fine but I just felt I remember I felt awkward in my arm placement and I feel like I need to try a few different things and find out what works best without like choking me to death and getting my form down straight which is so annoying because I'm literally always perfect on front squats and for some reason this day I felt awkward doing them but mission accomplished there and then I have this thing in my plan where you do like one squat it's like super sumo all the way down in it and then you just hold it for 10 breaths which is so difficult. It doesn't sound hard because you just do it. I think I just did the bar. But you sit in the squat and you just have to hold it and it feels good. It really like opens everything up, stretches. It just feels good to help your mobility and whatnot. I guess it was really, really nice. You do it three times. I think I only recorded one set of that. And then of course, glute hip thrusts, my favorite right now. I really like the setup I've been doing lately and I feel really good on my form and everything. So I did 135, which is a really good weight for me. I'm excited to bump it up. I think I even did one set with an extra 10 pounds on each side. So 155, that was nice. I really enjoy glute hip thrusts. I have very strong glutes, so I feel, or not strong glutes, but they always activate first on everything. I feel that when I do glute exercises, I, 
I'm, I'm pretty good at them usually, or feel strong and good at them. Those went well. Those are my main exercises, and I finished off the day with, uh, I want to say Bulgarian split squats. And those, literally, I almost cried doing them because I was so tired and exhausted from the rest of the workout. I just wanted to stop, and I was so drained. I think you can even see it after I finished the, the set. I'm just sitting on the ground, like, miserable because it was so hard, but, but it felt amazing to get it done um to like conquer it i busted my ass this whole workout and it felt so good i felt very empowered and just like i just kicked ass and and it was great and i loved it and i can't wait to do it again my next workout for legs will be sumo deadlifts as my main lift and stuff like that that'll be fun to show you and that that's it for this workout commentary i hope you guys enjoyed it love you i'm really fucking hungry right now back home and kind of lightheaded on to sleep from my workout. I killed it though. It was so good. I'm so proud of myself. And um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, wrap this baby up. This is the end of the vlog. That's it. Um, I, I need to get one up, so I'm just going to run and edit this. And I'll have one up for you and I'll see you on the next one. So, I wish I had like an outro saying. Like I have good morning sunshine, so I feel like I need an outro saying. Like, um... Not keep your teeth white, but uh, just keep your cat, keep your stay cool. Okay, I'm shutting up. I feel like I'm delusional, but I'll see y'all in the next one.